schemes targeting seniors continue to grow nationwide. After an elderly woman in North Carolina was scammed out of $25,000, her family hopes that her story can help protect others from the same fate. Cassie Fambro has more. She was trying to get some assistance with one of her mobile devices. She ended up getting a, uh, going online trying to get some assistance, and she got in touch with someone through like a compromised number, ended up being a scammer. The elderly woman who suffers from dementia was then caught in an escalating loop of fear and control, told to load smaller amounts of money on gift cards. Eventually, he had her withdraw a large sum of money, package it up, and meet him at a gas station before he took that from her, and she was just trying to get some help with her mobile device. Her daughter-in-law doesn't want her name shared publicly out of fear she could be targeted again, so we spoke on the phone. They started by asking for a little bit of money, and then they wanted more. She said the scammer told her mother-in-law he would go to her home, not to call anyone, and at one point even claimed to be a police officer. They were trying to impersonate the good guys. She went on to say as soon as she learned her mother-in-law gave an unknown man a lot of cash at a local Ashboro gas station, they went straight to police department headquarters. I think a lot of times it, it surprises even me how creative these people can get with their scams. Detective Pierce said this story was tough to hear because it hit close to home. My aunt, Pat, before she passed away, she was actually a victim of one of these lonely heart scams. So I, I can really relate to the victims on stuff like this. Pierce says one of the top red flags is anyone asking you to put money on a gift card. Nobody legitimate is going to have you pay them with a Panera Bread gift card or any company like that. Both Pierce and the victim's daughter-in-law say if you spot an elderly person trying to withdraw a ton of cash or buying dozens of gift cards, look out for them and encourage them to ask for help. I think sometimes they don't want to feel like a burden. You know, call your local police department, sheriff's office, anybody. You know, if you don't want to talk to a loved one, we'll be more than happy to try to help.